Hiya, uh, happy spring. We're back in the car for another Nando's. We're, today we're going up to the Midlands for Nando's number 76 in Coventry, which I know absolutely nothing about. It's near where I used to live. Well, you know one fact about Coventry, Oh, um, yeah, every girl that came to my school from Coventry was a twat. There's a Coventry fact for you. We're, we're learning already. Uh, here in the car, there, that was Joel. There's Char, who's in, who's, n doesn't have much opinions about Nando 76, but Nando 77 he'll probably talk about a bit. Yeah. Bill? Yo! And introducing Amy. Hello. So, <laughs> what, what was your first ever Nando's you went to? Uh, Woolwich. Is that your favourite Nando's? No, shit. <laughs> what, what's your favourite Nando's? Um, Canary Wharf. Which one? The one, the new one. Alright, oh, okay. In the north building bit, near the Pizza Express. Yeah, and what's your, fa what's your preferred spice level? Um, I don't like much. In fact, I used to have medium, but it gives me the shits now, so... Yeah, in it. So, what, do you have any expectations for Coventry? I think Coventry will be better than the other one. Now, this BP station area should be... Uh, we should make a special note of it, because this is where we regularly uh, top up with petrol when we're leaving London for Nando's, and also top up on alcohol. There's some nice deals on wine there. There's good sangria you can make with, like, fruit salads cups and a bottle of cheap uh, white wine from there, BP Connect, and while you're here you can get some petrol as well. So that's what we're doing, we need petrol for the road, and we're going to get that, we also need wine. We are totes in Coventry, look yeah. there's, a, there's a Coventry Yay. sports, look at this, this is great isn't this it? This looks alright actually, it's like <laughs> North London but slightly less shitty. The one thing I know about Coventry is that there's an expression where if people are in the dog house, they say they've been sent to Coventry. So I can only imagine that's because Coventry's such a shithole that it's like metaphorically you've been sent there because it's horrible. Oh, Alright, first impressions of Coventry, I'm not even no, joking. That, that Two tramps just come terrible. and looked in the bin when we threw our empty wine bottles in. There's, there's, that's a hotel. There's, there's a hotel. We're staying overnight, that's where we'd be. Looks like it's just been set on fire. I want to stay there. <laughs> What's that? It looks like it's been set on fire. It looks like it should be set on fire. <laughs> Nando's. First impressions. First impressions. It's, like, it's empty. It's dead. It's yeah. like a maze to get in. Yeah. It's probably because everyone gave up before finding yeah. the main entrance. Hey, look, there's cottage. Should we go there instead? Here we go. Here we go, a bit of scaffolding. I'm going straight to the toilet, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Massive. Right, we're going to be going to Chicken Cottage across the road instead yeah. of here. <laughs> toilet time with Jewel. I'm dying for a piss. I'm and I'm scared. I'm scared about this one. Well, can you hear that? That's the sound of one of them machines in Sweeney Todd where they kill people and then they grind up the meat. Listen. Yeah, definitely what that is. Right, let's look around here before anyone comes in. Let's think. Oh, hello. Mirror's a bit dirty. Fairly clean. We've got a toilet roll. I mean, as toilets goes, it's pretty good. Has it? Oh, not good. And you know what? No music. I like to dance while I wee. No music. Not good. This is creepy. It's not particularly clean. It's not a disaster. But yeah, that noise alone is creeping me out. I'm giving it two flushes. Not good, Coventry. This place is fucking huge. Like, this is one area no one's in it. It's like... Tasty. Look. Where even are we? It's not ideal, but we're doing the Nando's double bill on the final day of Lent, which means no chips and no chicken for me. And I'm kind of bored with a veggie pitter having it a whole two times during then. So I'm going to go with veggie, uh, and we're doing two, so I'm going to have to do a veggie wrap and a veggie pitter and mix it up. So I'm going to do a flip a coin. So it's heads, veggie wrap, towels, veggie pitter, and I have the other one that's more pants. So. Okay. I'm going to have a wrap. Yeah, that's a wrap. All right, and it's head for normal match. Towers for sweet potato, man. Go for it. 
That's a normal mash. And then it's hit for spicy rice and towels for loose beans. Huh? Loose beans. Loose beans, okay. What did I say? Head for spicy rice, towels for loose beans. Three heads. Three heads. Actually, fuck it, I'm gonna claim my whole chicken. I've had it in my wallet for like nine months. And I'm doing it. Because I never want a whole chicken, but I'm having a whole chicken. But don't minute. forget we're going to two Nando's today. Yeah, that's why I'm having it now and not at the next one. Because I'm probably gonna have Nando's at the next one. Gotta have something. I'll have something. I'll have a few choice words, how about that? What are you having? Probably half chicken. Oh, look at us with our fucking old loyalty cards all around. Yeah, yeah a half one, but probably lime and herb. Lemon and herb. What the fuck are you playing with? There's like some ancient artifacts here. Yeah, you use one today? Yeah, but I use my new card. Oh, okay. I've got another you should use these, you've only got like a month to do it. My first impression in terms of staff was really good, in terms of face wasn't good. Um, the staff are really friendly, they're all smiles, they're very polite, um, very sweet people. Um, but the restaurant, the first thing I noticed when I came in was the smell of smoke. And when you look towards the kitchen, you can see a bit of uh, cooking smoke. What's your first impression? They didn't have any avocado. What? No avocado? It's like it's avocado oh. this. Yeah. To be honest, that's probably good. Last time Chris had an avocado one, it was just like a rock. It was a rock, yeah. It's just a green rock in the middle of the salad, so... I accidentally ordered Luso beans when I meant to order the spicy rice. So I messed up my... But Luso beans, that's why I don't have it. It counts as two sides. It costs twice the price of a normal Yeah, it's one of the phenol sides. Yeah, fuck that. I'm never having it again. Unless it's great. I got my oil and my vinegar. That makes me happy. Oh yeah, light fittings. The one, one of the ones above us is busted. <laughs> There's, those are busted. One of those is busted. That's another busted one. There's another yeah, yeah. busted light. I think they need to get themselves down home base. There's another busted light down there. <laughs> I'm liking the, uh, the butt statue there. <laughs> There's the uh, Luso beans. This is like the caviar of Nando's. Here's the mashed potato. Oh man, it's, they're uh, giving you a lot there. They don't know microwave gum from Nando's, and this is veggie. Although because because the lap got something with chicken in it, it was veggie before. I'm gonna have to test it before eating it. The chicken's really tough. You can see it's really white, so it's cooked. But it looks like the stuff from like Morley's that's been like. It looks like stuff from Morley's. See, what, normally it looks soft. The chicken. This is really tough, and it's yeah. really, really hard to choose. <laughs> it's quite dry. I mean. Really it's not the worst chicken I've ever had, but it is a little bit. It's it's had its time on the grill, put it that way. Veggie uh, wrap is actually really spicy, only quite small, but quite spicy. Are, are you recording? Okay, this is the the four square tips for Nando 76. Four square is a thing that's available on on devices that have the internet and people can leave tips. There's some fantastic tips for this Nando's right here in Coventry. Uh, Amy Louise T says, good flavours, portions are a little small for the price, nice service, although most of it you have to do yourself. No good puddings though, in my opinion. Ahmed B says, steak burger plus peri peri chips and he has like a little less than three which makes a heart, that's, that's sweet. And yeah, don't forget the starter, hummus with lemon and herb sauce, don't forget that. Uh, Eileen M says NHS discount if you show your ID badge at the till. So all of you, make sure you show your NS NHS ID badge at the till. Unless this is in the close future where NHS is an abstract concept from the past, you can't show your bar your badge because it doesn't exist because the NHS doesn't exist. Uh, Leah H says disagree about the puddings. The chocolate cheesecake is awesome. Also, one third Fanta, two thirds Coke is the best drink ever. Fahad says, try Beanie Burger with pineapple. Sounds wired, but tastes really nice. It does sound wired, doesn't it? And Sarah Bay <laughs> says, great food and kids get a free lolly. And he has like a little little picture of a lolly on there. <laughs> uh... Hey, and I, there's so many, I'm just gonna read one more, one more. Emma C says, try the red pepper dip. Gorgeous! Those are the four square tips for Nando's 76. See you next time. Rating out Nando's number 76, commentary. Okay, kind of a bit of a mixed bunch for me, as always. What? A bit torn. Uh, the staff are really, really nice. They're really friendly, they're very polite. Um, but I really don't like this space. You know, the restaurant itself, it's smoky, it's smelly. Um, 
I don't like the, the tables, I don't like the lighting, I don't like the layout. In terms of food, they had the oil and the vinegar, which quite often they don't, so, you know, thumbs up for that. And the halloumi, I have to say, was the best halloumi I've, I've had in Ananda. So, I was going to give them a two, because I've just really, experience-wise, don't think it's great. But because the halloumi was so good, I'm actually upping it to a three, so that's three cocks for Coventry. Sure. Right, um... The chicken wasn't amazing. I've, I've had better. It was a little bit. That bit. I'm about to. Right. It was a little bit dry. Um, the halloumi was fucking amazing though, um, and the red pepper dip was quite nice. The staff are really, really friendly. Like they're all kind of really chirpy and nice, and they've been like people serving us, people wandering around, people coming to our table, like more so than you usually get. So that was really nice to see. The location I don't mind so much. It's quite big. The music isn't too loud. Um, so I'd say all in all, I'll give it three cocks. Billiard. Um, yeah, it was good. Uh, didn't have chicken like normal, just had the, 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 the share of platter with the halloumi and the churn, you know, and some bombs on it. I was saying at the start, the place is really stripped back and quite like the, the, the West Strip has brickwork. Um, and also a few lights were broken here and there, but it gives the place a gloomy sort of edge, which as Joel quite rightly said, is, a, is quite nice. It's not sort of too bright down here. Um, yeah, I, I've had the right time. I'm going to give it three and a half cups. Amy. Um, I like the um, what's it called? Salad. salad. Napkins. Was there was a lot of feta cheese and a lot of olives. Sometimes I can be a bit stingy and put like two feta cheese, one olive. That was really nice. The chicken was really dry, very, very, very dry. So I didn't really like that very much. I ate it, but that's only because it was expensive. Well, it would have been if I didn't use my card. Um, it's a bit dark in here, a bit smoky. The toilets were a bit small and that. It's just a bit, a bit weird. Um, the people are quite friendly, but I just don't like the atmosphere of the old-fashioned brick on the wall and things like that. So I'd give it three cups. All right, uh, the food, I'm not sure how big a veggie wrap should be, so I'm not going to say that was too small, but, and I'm not going to say that the Luso beans were overpriced, even though they were, because they're like that in every Nando's. The food that I had was all right, nothing inspiring, the mash was a bit dry. The place itself, is, although it isn't great and half the lights are busted, it is literally the nicest thing we've seen in Coventry. <laughs> so well done, Nando's. It is. So I'm bringing a, a ray of sunshine to the, the otherwise gloomy... Uh, hellhole that is Coventry City. Uh, but you know, the, the staff are alright, I, I don't understand why everybody's praising them so much, but they're, they're alright, they do their job. I have no quibbles with the place. I see the chicken's dry though, and I'm not eating the chicken. But if I was, that would disappoint me, three yeah. pots. The char, fully in the knowledge that we are off from here to go to another Nando's, has eaten a whole chicken. Yeah man, sorted, that's lunch. What's, what's dinner? Sorry, no, wind it back. Uh -huh. Got you, got you. <laughs> We're off to get tea next. What's for tea? What's for tea is more fucking chicken. You're gonna get another whole chicken? Yeah. It's the outside. Don't panic, we're still open. They're st they are still open. That was, that was, that was Nando 76. We're gonna see what else commentary has to offer. Hopefully we won't get robbed by a tramp. Record it, what? Nando's. Weatherspoons, hey. Primark and two betting shops, we're sorted. <laughs> and a chicken cottage. And a chicken yeah, cottage. All right, and so are we going here by any chance? Yeah, we, yeah I think we might be. <laughs> over there as well. when we say, and yeah, a Ladbrokes, well, another betting shop. There's a Ladbrokes there. All right, we're back here at the car park. This was lovely, sunny Coventry. We're wrapping up. It was a delightful visit. It's a lovely day in the Midlands. And uh, we'll see you next time at Wolverhampton. Great. <laughs>